I'm out here walking, man. I'm gonna find these niggas, man. Just pushing for my niggas back. Reminiscing on the track about the nights that got my niggas. Somebody wanna pop out? I'm gonna look at I ain't trying to let y'all rest, man. I ain't let y'all rest too long. Yo, Holy Rap TV, man, we here with another dope episode. We got a great one here, you know what I'm saying? Hope y'all see who I'm here with, you know what I'm saying? We're good, my boy, he's up. You know what I'm saying? If they don't know, you know what I'm saying? No, they gonna know, you know what I mean? Um, you could just introduce yourself to the people that, that don't know. No, I'm at the, I'm at the point where they do know. That's a fact. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm happy to be here. I think this is... I think this is a, a great time that we're in. Mm -hmm. I think I think it's very important for us to be aware of the time that we're in, right? Mm -hmm. Appreciate the things that we have the during the time that we're in, and then allow God to give us more because we're going to be working with what we have, and then we're going to get more. We're going to appreciate and value what we have. So I think it's important to to you know. Be aware of that, right? Mm -hmm. We still have to sell VHS tapes mm -hmm. because we haven't positioned ourselves to be a powerhouse in media as the Chinese, as the Jews, as the Indians. So, the, so you know, I know your concern was like coming up, like you know, bro, you know, I'm just starting out. This is a big That's thing, fun. right? Nah, man. Like we, we, we at this point where we're shifting from um, codependency to independence, or being dependent to being independent, right? So now it's like, well, this is, well, what does that look like? Mm -hmm. I, I'm not gonna look at you like you should have a rollout like Amazon or YouTube, yeah, yeah, right? I just came from YouTube Studios. I, I'm not expecting, because you're not Larry Page and Sergey Brin yet, right? You, you're going, you know, you're going in that way. I think a lot of times we look at the someone's reaching their destination as the process to reach that destination. So you'll see somebody that's super successful and you're looking at the end result, not realizing that they started in maybe a worse position than you. It, you might be, you might have, i tell you one thing, you got more than Steve Jobs got <laughs> yeah, boy. in the beginning, right? So I so think that's from, from off that, Coming um, from what you just said, mm -hmm. being a person, you know, just starting out, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? To have you on my platform is an honor. Mm -hmm. um, so, what I wanted to, you know, have this conversation about is just basically about me just having an opportunity to even sit down with you and have a, this conversation and have this, this dialogue mm -hmm. between me and you, you know what I'm saying? And uh, just to learn more things that just up on that you could teach me on the road of my success on going on and following my dream you know, just to try to get, you know, like just, you know, like, um, what I would say, um, just to help. My process is basically to help artists get seen, get their content out there and, and do more, just to give them that home where they can come and have that platform where they can come here and, and, and build friendship with me and build the, um, a relationship with Holy Rap TV where they could have somewhere where they could, you know, just have that content at that, that, that place because I see a lot of artists where they they, they haven't shine, you know what I'm saying? Right, they they right. might not never shine, they might not never get that opportunity. Right. So I'm just trying to build that confidence, I mean, build that, that platform where they could come here and just have fun with, you know, just mm -hmm. on a road to success too. So, like, that's why I ask, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. you can just uh, have that conversation with me and just give me a little more confidence and... Yeah, for sure. I think, I think, I think, well, first thing is understanding that it's not a sprint, it's a marathon, right? So, you have to identify what it is that you want to do, right? Mm -hmm. um, what's the actual destination? What's the timetable for getting to that destination? So, 
are you willing to work 10 years mm -hmm. to make this a success? Yeah. If you're not willing to work 10 years to make this a success, then you're not going to have a success. Mm -hmm. It may take more than 10 years. It may take less than 10 years. But you have to make sure that whatever you're doing, you're extremely, insanely passionate That's about right. it. Yeah. Because your passion and your love for it is what's going to keep you working on it when it's not working or doesn't seem like it's working. So it starts with you first, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then you have to understand every level of business, marketing, um, cross collaborization, cross promotion, um, strategic partnerships, how to get POCs, which is points of contacts with bigger companies. So you got a soda company right there on the table. Mm -hmm. How do I contact that company? How do I get that company to pay me an advertisement dollar, right? Like how do I generate revenue yeah. off this business that I got? You gotta start asking yourself these tough questions, right? Yeah. Um, and then the next thing is understanding the cameras and equipment, right? So you say, well, okay, how do I get better cameras? Is, you know, there's always new lenses coming out. There's always new cameras coming out. Maybe you could reach out to some camera companies and get some, some you know, some cameras that's on the way and you can test them out in your content, right? Yes. See, with, with that too, like, I, by me coming up um, and, and following this, I've been meeting a lot of videographers, you know, just getting knowledge and stuff from them. But it's like, instead of me going to the companies, the big companies and stuff like that, I was just trying to use, you know, just like upcoming artists, I mean, videographers mm -hmm. and my peers to learn the game too. How does that work for you? It's kind of working, it's kind of not working. And that's why I want to ask you too, like how could I separate that, like how? You gotta go to the bigger company. Yeah, go to the bigger company. You gotta go to somebody who has nothing to gain, nothing to lose. Mm -hmm. They're just successful, they're in, that, they're in that, that, that state of peace, right? So, the game is not what it used to be. Mm -hmm. Everybody is somebody, but most people are nobody. So, back to answer your question, because I like to keep the thoughts cohesive. You gotta have a real business plan. You have to have a, a, a five, 10, 15, 20 year plan for what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So when you start to plan for 20 years, then the marathon starts to set in. You start to accept that, okay, you gotta start to embrace like delayed gratification. Things take time. You want something special, it's gonna take time. Then you have to make sure that you constantly um, reinforce your knowledge and understanding of music and the music business and what's hot and what's not. You gotta have a really good ear. Um, you know, and you have to make sure you're always working on your skill, learning how to edit videos, learning how to set up, learning how to control your setup, making sure that you got a setup. You can do it on your phone. Yeah, that's what I do. I, I do I do most of it. That's why I learn how to do everything. I right. learn on my phone. Mm -hmm. I start everything on my phone, so I do. It may take me a little bit longer to edit more stuff because I do everything on my phone and I'm always on the go, so I'm always moving around. So mm -hmm. I learn everything off my phone. Mm -hmm. um, but coming off what you what you said too, being being like, hold on, you can pull that for me. No, 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 no. You edit that little chain. So what I'm saying is, is you let the conversation flow. Yeah. Man, you can do a pause. My I had something in my head, but I did. But, yeah. but you I'm talking, like, yeah. Yeah, he's vibing, he's vibing. Yeah, but that's, that's the conversation, yeah. right? Because it's real, it's authentic, right? Yeah. So you, you, you know, you got something. You want to give artists an opportunity. So you have to develop your audience, not just develop the artists that you do interviews with, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to figure out what it is that you do that's going to make people watch. So your style of asking questions, right? Yeah. Um, you know, how you give information to people that's watching, what's gonna make them wanna watch you? Because when they wanna watch you, they're gonna care about what you got to say and what you co-sign is hot, right. right? So you you gotta have a love for music. You gotta know what's hot and what's not, yeah. right? Um, and in terms of like, Finding people to collaborate with, learn, show the ropes. You gotta go to somebody that has way more success than you. Yeah. And you gotta catch them in a compromising position. You gotta catch them out with their family. You gotta catch them in a spot where they're really uncomfortable. And you gotta make sure that you ask exactly what you want to know. A lot of times people just wanna be around successful people, but they don't wanna really, I, 
figure out what is the blueprint for success. Because they feel like if I'm just in the room, I'm good. No, fuck that. Look, today, I shook a billionaire's hand. This guy's net worth is $16.5 billion. Shook his hand. And we having a conversation and I ran down, right? Because I recognize the face. Um, insecurity, he was a black dude. And I was looking like, bro, look, man, I got some question, man. And I was prepared. Yeah. I was prepared to two pieces of security. That's a fact. You know, because I'm like, yo, look, man, this <laughs> fan, I'm gonna ask this question, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I asked him. I, I wasn't nervous. I wasn't like, oh my God, this is a billionaire. No, no, this is a fucking billionaire. So you have to look, bro. I'm doing this. And this is exactly what I asked him. I said, look, I'm doing a fundraiser, right? I'm gonna raise money to get a recreation center in Harlem. I'm trying to figure out how to do it on my own. What makes, you know, people that have a lot of money uh, investing in things, right? Or, you know, like, I said, nah, scratch that. Yeah. In my mind, I'm like, nah, fuck all that. I'm not even trying to, like, yo, bro, how did you do it? <laughs> right, like, how, like I'm, I'm asking him, right? I'm looking at him yeah, dead yeah, in the yeah, eye. Yeah. So, and he told me, he said, you have to be um, relentless and you have to have hustle. Mm -hmm. Thank you, I shook his hand because he just confirmed what I already knew, right? But he only answered the question because when he looked into my eyes, he saw the seriousness. He saw the hustle. He saw everything. Listen, let me tell you something. Um, the odds never lie. If you really, really want to figure some shit out and you've been learning, you've been working hard, you, the person is going to give you that answer when you ask that question. Because you ain't asking the question with your vocal cords. You're asking that question with your energy, with your vibration. And if you're legit, if you're authentic, they're going to look at you and they're going to know and they're gonna answer the question. And if they don't answer the question, then you're full of shit. Right? So you don't need to waste time with people who, you don't need to waste time with people who look at you as a competitor. Mm -hmm. You know, videographers, they goofies, man. They, they, don't, they don't really get it. <laughs> yeah, and everybody, everybody wants to, everybody wants to fucking pay me, but ain't nobody getting paid. Yeah, like, um, yeah. what you were saying too, like I was taught, um, you know, look a man in their eyes, and, mm -hmm. you, and that's that shows that you 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 paying attention. You know yeah, what I'm saying? for sure, for sure. So, like, I try to teach little kids, like like the little kids now, like mm -hmm. like even with being a bigger brother and being a, a a father, like what advice could you give me to help these younger guys that's coming along? Well, I could just give them advice. You know what I'm saying? I, you gotta point to yourself. Yeah. You gotta point. This is my brother. He don't fucking listen. Yeah, that's right. My blood brother. My blood. He don't fucking listen. He don't know what the fuck he doing. He came back from a trip that he shouldn't have went on. Right? Mm -hmm. Hit me yesterday, yo, I'm back, bro. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? But he's emulating things that I do from afar. I don't know if he's watching me. I don't know what the fuck it is, right? But they're going to learn by just kind of like watching. And it's tough because you've been there, right? So you want him to say, look, bro, what you're doing ain't going to work. You gotta do it this way. You need to be with your brother, you need to be with me, you should be working, you should be. You can't. It's like this generation is stupid. That's right. Because they got the internet, they got information. So whatever you tell them, you're one person. Mm -hmm. When they go on TikTok, there's three billion other people that's gonna tell them something conflicting with what you just told them. And guess what? They got TikTok more than they got you. Yeah. So they're gonna side with the TikTok yeah, bullshit. Right. right? So you know, the best advice I could give you is pour into yourself. You gotta be fucking selfish. And you gotta really, really, you know, develop what you're doing, build it, and lead by example, not with conversation. We came from conversation. If you can tell somebody, look, homie, don't do this, don't do that, you know, yeah. we can learn from that. Mm -hmm. They don't see a wet floor sign. Mm -hmm. They like, you a hater. You put a wet floor sign up. You a hater. Fam, no, I put the wet floor sign because the floor is slippery, dick face. But nah, you a hater. They gonna take the wet floor sign and throw it out the window and then run on that same floor and fall and hit their head and they get mad at you. And you like, what? Like yeah, you can't make sense of it, right? Told you. <laughs> so you gotta like you gotta like you gotta have tremendous success, tremendous patience. You know what I mean? As well, right? So meaning like they not gonna I feel he should learn for me, way faster because I'm telling him what to do. Like, yo, bro, don't do this, don't do that. That shit ain't gonna work. I'm telling you, it ain't gonna work. 
you you got to you got to spoon feed them. Everybody's pain threshold is different. Everybody's listening abilities and capabilities are different too as well. So you got to be patient. So I would be patient. Um, I would I would really really just become more successful when I'm doing it mm-hmm. because then that becomes thing like okay. I started losing weight, right? Because I started running. I started looking younger. I'm, you know what I mean? And my brother, like, damn. You know, you see, I'm running, running, and then he he started to, you know, yeah. little get get more in his run game. Because yeah. I'm on my run game. I didn't tell him to run. I didn't give a fuck if he ran me or not. But I'm, yo, I'm really, I'm really working out. I'm really getting in shape, right? So that's an example of leading by example and how powerful that is. So you got to lead by example and put them around situations and people that also lead by example. So they can be diverse and not just be led by your example, but be led by multiple different examples that all give them the same result: massive success and massive blessings. Um, another thing, another thing too, like with, with that, um, learning like who to keep around you when you when you're going around. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's another thing. Like um, picking who to take with you or or, or help you on the road. And picking your team right, you know what I'm saying? Realistically, that's, 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 who's gonna come with you? Yeah. Um, they pick and choose that. Yeah. You just have to accept who chooses to come with you. How would how 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 would I like? How would I know? Right. You know what I'm saying? Because right. you know you got some people that's, because... that's close to you that really could show you. You Listen, know what I'm saying? They know they can't. Nobody can pull fast enough for me. Right. And this is just how you do it. Yeah. Um. I got my brother. I got another brother. I call him. Yo, look, bro. I want you to quit that job. Come fuck with me. Ain't no other incentive other than come fuck with me. Not giving you no incentive. No incentive. And you don't take the incentive. Because you can't. Because you don't see an incentive. You can't take initiative because you're like, man, fuck that. You're not my guy. Mm-hmm. Right? People stay close enough to you to make you feel like they with you, but they keep just enough space between you and them so they don't have to put in no actual work to contribute to what you're doing. So this is why I give my brother opportunities, all of them, I gave my to you, look bro, hit my phone, you gotta work, and I told myself, you look bro, you <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna feel bad about I'm not gonna have survivor's guilt. Because when I was climbing the ladder to success, I told you every step of the way, every bar I climbed up, yo, bro, what you doing? Come with me. So you got to understand, you know, they got the saying, you wasn't with me shooting in the gym. Yeah, I was going to get into that but too. You, but you was with me yeah. shooting in the gym. You just ain't grabbing a rebound. Yeah. You ain't grabbing a bottle of water. This is an example of them, you know, being with me. He's in the gym right now. But what is he doing? You you came back from a trip. You ain't really with me all the time. You know what I'm saying? So... You're going to have to be with me all the time. That's equivalent to getting the water. That's equivalent to buying water. It's equivalent to grabbing the rebound. So now, when I'm in the face of boxing, now when we're doing movies and book deals and shit like that, all the money we're sharing because you were actually helping me get that shit. Know what I mean? So you have to give people entry based upon the initiative, the initiative that they take. A closed mouth will never get fed, but the one feeding should never have an open mouth. That's a fact. I don't have to yeah. tell you how to help me. You should be asking me, how can you help? Mm-hmm. A closed mouth never gets fed, but the one feeding the mouth mm-hmm. should never have an open mouth. Yeah. Pause. So what that means is, if I'm the one, if I'm the meal ticket, if I'm the blessing, if I'm the one that can really help you and put you in position, why are you not trying to figure out how can you help me help you put you in position. And that's my slogan. That's me. That's why that's what that's what I go by. Help me help you rise. You know what I'm saying? I can't do this by myself. That's what I say. Like it's a team effort. And me building a team is like I, I do everything by myself right now. Helping so me like, is helping you. And when you help me, I can help you and then you rise. So you want to add that component too, right? It's like, I'm not here to help just help you. Because motherfuckers are selfish. Everybody got fucked up intentions. Right. And, and, crabbing and, and, about mentality. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what he got going on. Saying, yeah. like, I, motherfucker, this shit going to benefit me and you. What you got going on don't benefit me. It only benefit you. What I got going on benefit us all. So you got to help me 
Because when you help me, you're helping yourself. That's a fact. And that's, See? That's, what, that's what I go off. That's right. To, that's but the problem, the problem is, same thing just in general, just with my family, people, this is, great, this is a great topic, by the way, is people are selfish. Mm -hmm. they delusional. They don't, then it's competitive, it's divisive, we don't stick together. That's a fact. Why wait, like, you know what I'm saying? So you have to be mindful, you can't help everybody. And everybody that you help, don't want to be helped. And everybody that want to help you, don't want to help you. They just trying to figure out a way to figure out what you're doing. So they're gonna hide behind helping you to analyze what you're doing just to cut you off later on once they made you think they was with you because they was helping you. It wasn't helping you, they was just trying to say, yo, Bro, you need help with the groceries, and you tell you let them take the groceries upstairs. They looking around. Oh, he got a window back there. He got a window back there. You come back a week later, nigga, and robbed your whole crib. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. So you gotta adapt to that. So how you adapt? That is like, man, fuck you. I don't need. I'm not trying to help you. Help you. Fuck all other shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing this. You want to add value? That's it. And I'm keeping that distance. You know what I'm saying until you add so much value that you got enough value for yourself. I try to get like that, but me having a genuine, genuine Man, fuck, heart fuck is, like, is like, nah, bro. I still Listen, get caught up on Bro, we selling drugs. We commit murders. We robbing people. We doing other shit. We outside. Fuck you talking about this conscious shit. You in the Vietnam War. You in Iraq. They they killing shit. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm not going to shoot the lady. Hello, <laughs> hey, Bob. <laughs> she opened her shirt. She got a bomb. Blow you the fuck. She don't give a fuck. Yeah. Know what I'm saying, bro, it's war, man. Everything goes, man. So I understand, like, you gotta keep them at a distance. This is my bro, but I don't fuck with none of that, homie. I wanna help you, but if you don't start reaching out to me, I can't fuck with you. And you ain't gonna make me think because you my brother, it's some soft spot. I don't fuck with none of that. Because your family the first ones to down your ass. Yeah. And a person will only make you think they're helping you just to figure out how you the what's the I mechanics of what you got going on. Then use that against you. And act like you never even helped them to begin with. I, I, how do you know when you um, it's time for that the separation from from that? From because it's already gonna be separation. Just told you, my brothers ain't blowing my phone like that. I gotta search for these motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. Separation gonna already separation gonna already be there. It's just can you accept the separation that's already there? You heard? Yeah. You gotta accept the separation. Can you accept that? Yeah. Right? And a lot of times, because you got love for the motherfucker, you be trying to go against what's the obvious. You ain't calling my phone. You ain't blowing my phone up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then what? Oh, you realize you see some shit on TV. Yo, rapper makes 50 million out. Yo, bro, yo. Nah, nah. nah. Ain't no, nah. Uh -huh. <laughs> ain't no, bro. Nothing over here, chick. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Uh-uh. You know what I'm saying? And they gonna be using my name neither. I'm gonna publicly denounce you, cause it, cause it ain't get slick. Cause they know they can't see the motherfuckers. know. they can't bust you turns on me. I'm gonna flatten your tires and put a car bomb on your shit, girl. Right? So they try to use your name. You know that's my brother. I don't, I don't got no brothers. <laughs> fuck out of here. I don't fuck with him. Cause you ain't gonna use my name. Cause now you know people start using connections. They call they call me, have me on speaker while they trying to get an interview. Yeah, that's my brother. See. Yeah, yeah, yo, what up, what up? Nah, we ain't doing none of that. I'm, mm -mm. You disconnected, baby. You don't know what the outlet is, baby. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, so you gotta accept the space that you ain't. I ain't make you not fuck with me. Yeah, word. You just don't fuck with me because you don't really fuck with yourself or nothing that's worth fucking with. So I ain't gonna feel bad about fuck, not fucking with you, boy. Because yeah. you don't even fuck with yourself. Can't love something that don't love you. And you can't give love if you don't love yourself. Can't love something that don't love you, and you can't love something that you don't love you. You can't love something that don't love you. Right? And you can't love something if you don't love you. So go both ways, right? Yeah. If you don't love you, you can't love a motherfucker. And if a motherfucker ain't loving you, how are you gonna love them? He ain't loving on me, motherfucker. Man, fuck you. Because we family? I mean, listen, man, I ain't gonna that. How do you stay motivated with, um, you know, going through all the stuff that you know? And, and Mantra, man, journey how you think creates mm -hmm. how you feel. How you feel becomes an emotion, and emotion becomes a vibration. A vibration becomes a magnet that attracts things to you. How you think creates how you feel. I'm talking to myself. I'm the best definition of fly. 
I am the best definition of prosperity. I am the best definition of intelligence. I am a God. I am strong. I am indestructible. I am invincible. This is this is how so I talk to myself. Mm -hmm. So I always reinforce um, a positive, powerful self-image of myself to myself. And I don't allow people that's trying to tell me some shit about me that ain't real. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. fuck you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or that's why. That's how. I, that's how I feel. If it ain't real, man, it's, it's, it don't. And if it ain't hard. real to me, then it's yeah. fake. Yeah, it's a fact. Man. Saying, nigga, I'm gonna fuck with ten billion motherfuckers to jack it. <laughs> I don't like, jack it. Shit yeah, is a dub. That's, a, yeah. that's <laughs> how I feel too. <laughs> Word. But um, I got another question for you. Um, can you just give me like um, you know, just give me a little bit um, advice that you like have somebody that's striving to, you know, like, in this music industry, like, what advice could you give them? Like, because I'm, I'm a, um, I do a lot of promotion for the artists and just giving them a, a word of confidence mm -hmm. and just having, because, you know, some, some ain't as good as other artists. So it's like just keeping them with the, you know, like the inspiration to still keep going on and rapping and you know mm -hmm. like what what advice could you give those artists that still because that's what I do this art uh, this platform yeah start sure. where you stand and stand where you start that's the first thing start where you stand wherever you at wherever you the fuck you at that's where you started from and I'm standing by that start where you stand then stand where you start next thing is you gotta understand that music is not a product music is just a commercial that actually promotes the products that you sell or services you provide McDonald's has music I'm loving it ba 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 they got product right burgers and fries. They have a service, commercial real estate. So if you're an artist, you have to figure out how to make a product for yourself. And the products that you should think about making is the products that you use. You got a phone, you got a watch, you got sneakers. So are you going to sell sneaker cleaners? Can you create your own sneaker cleaner? You got shoelaces. Can you create your own shoelaces? Right? Mm -hmm. You got a hat. Yeah. Right? So it's like the things that you use, that's your inspiration and, and ideas for products that you can create and you can sell. You know what I'm saying? Because the same person that makes the music looks a lot like the person that listens to the music. Because you're making music that somebody's going to relate to, and who that person relates to might dress like you, eat the same food, go to the same place. So you got to figure out how to make products. And that's how you start making money. And every artist should be selling their music. Every artist should have their own personalized website. Every artist is their own streaming service. So your artist name, dot com. And then you can only get my music from dot com. And you got to pay for my music at dot com. And then, you know, and, and that's it. And ain't nobody better than you. And how you going to tell me, if you're being true to yourself, it's, it's not a thing that you can be better. I'm just telling you my life story through song. So you, you can't tell me your life story is better than my life story. Mm -hmm. It's ain't about who's better, you know what I'm saying? It's just about who's going to create the art and stand by the art that they create. Yeah. Um, into the music. I see you do music too, you know what I'm saying? I usually be asking the artists, uh, give me some bars when they come up here. Mm -hmm. I know you are artists, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got some bars for me. Fuck them all, if he dies, he <laughs> dies. I said, fuck them all, if he dies, he dies. Spit in your face before I swallow my pride. Ear to the throne. Past crown holders. Could have gave me flowers instead, they gave me hollow tips. Knew I had next up, they would. Knew I was next up, they still wouldn't acknowledge it. Beam on it. Every bullet landed in the same hole. Devil on the guillotine. I piss on your rainbow. I'm nice with my hands. But I'm gonna let the Glock blow. Missy with the bullshit. I'm just trying to monetize. No help. Just hustle. All grind. Stash house. Hundred thousand. All fives. Nothing in the way Roblox is disappearing. Every gun longer than the shirt you wearing, dog. You won't survive, pussy. This is a jungle. You gotta beat on your chest, walk on your knuckles, break bread with crabs that you know don't love you. But you choose money over love just to watch your profits double. All white in the pan, you can see when it bubble. Fuck whoever counting me out, still breathing. Backstabbers left me for dead, still bleeding. But you ain't God, you ain't giving me life. Why you judging me? I can see the knife in your hand. You ain't cut me. It's a world full of suckers. All I see is fuckery. Focus on the road that's under me. Hungary. Pistol in my hand, dog. Please don't come for me. 
I focus on my company. Till I touch a billion, bro, I can't sleep comfy. What goes up comes down, but I think I got the bungee. Heart full of anger. The demons we fought changed us. Got the same blood, but sometimes it feels like we strangers. Life is a bitch. You can't fuck without a plan. We all got the same set of footprints in the sand. A law won't carry us. You gotta be a man. The pain unrelatable. They won't understand. 0.5 on the scale. Got a pocket full of grams. Dirty hotel room. Roaches on the fan. Surviving in the jungle took my heart away. Cause when you doing dirty, make it hard to pray. We was trying to find a way. Just couldn't see the trail. I'm dealing with demons together. It's like hell. I'm staring at the man in the mirror. I won't fail. Angels in the clip of my gun. I pray with a shell. The coke so white. It's like heaven on a scale. Church in the hallway, street like gospel, fuck what the law say. A buck fifty don't make you tough, just means there's more room on your face to cut. They shooting in the hood, my G, we at war. He finna start selling Kevlar's in the corner store. Mouthpiece for the have-nots, the streets need me, thirsty. I'ma turn saliva into Fiji. I'm a king, I run my block like a pharaoh. Fuck love, we gon' get it with a barrel. Coke came from Africa. Dog food Arabian, we gon' take over every block in our radius. Fuck you, scheming that is love, nigga, pay me then. Cool with the arms dealer, my right hand Albanian. I need every penny out the piglet, you gon' get your wig split. We don't fuck around on no kid shit, hurry the jam. I don't give a fuck, scrap work the tech, click long. Pistol looking like it got a birth defect. Back against the wall, poverty, I'm sick of it. Broken, I'm ignorant. Dirty ass revolver, pen broke, I'm still sticking shit. Yeah. Never seen the fire and rain, I'm still hitting shit. We all on the front line. Tell me what you bleeding for. Talking to my ancestors, but I don't need a Ouija board. Had a lot of ups and downs, more like a seesaw. Squad full of werewolves, teams full of egos. Used to be the champion, now I saw a deal. Made money, need more. Frustrated, peed off, and we gonna break jaws when we see y'all. Nah, we gonna break laws when we see y'all. I saw a cracker on the corner with his hand out, that shit funny. You know how hard it is for a black man to get money? <laughs> Living in America before the Cartiers and sky dwellers, it was handcuffs. That judge sat me down. I stayed sturdy, had to stand up. My daddy gone, mama getting high, had to man up. Blueprint weird, no, nah, nigga. Wasn't no plans for us. I couldn't get along. Wasn't no grants for us. My dog just lost his life putting his hammer up. Money on your head, I pay for the spin like a laundromat. Ty can't get the stain out. Gotta go to guard for that. My black been getting money since the 80s. That's the artifact. Because mm. when you getting money off for hard, it make it hard to rap. At the dealer, picking out these phones, I tell them, give me two. Couple chapters make the falls, well, me and my doors gonna make it too. Mm. Haters try to close doors on me, I still made it through. At the bank, 100K, tell her, tell her, just make it blue. I seen a young pup get hit with 100 plus. Shit hit home, yo. Like it was one of us. They gave him time like Chapo. But he was only local. The numbers they giving out, you could probably fit it in a social. Granddaddy died. Cremated. I watched him turn to dust. I fear law. But in this pistol where I put my trust, I left prison with a plan. Got focused when I came out. Daddy gone. Mama fucking niggas in the same house. Bitches suck dick and throw dirt with the same mouth. Money make me more who I am. I can't change now. Eight brothers, stomach rumbling. I can't play now. You ain't sending Zells or dropping dollars in my PayPal. Blood turn to water, nigga. Family acting strange now. Feels like we miles apart, but we in the same town. And they switch up comments. Once they realize it's armor under the garment, I back out calmly. Bullets stay in your conscience. Four, five, quite the nonsense. You don't want to be with a grazer. You don't want to be. You don't want to be with a grazer. Get dug. I've been nice since I bathed in blood. So why should I wave the steel? I could pay a fiend 20 hours of crack to Marvin Gaye your grill. Mm. That's real. That's my right. bars is long, your two flow shorter, keep your green, my weed grows on water. I was in a crack house, never was a bando, 45 caliber, feels like Rambo. I don't care if it's right or wrong, fuck them all, I ran off on the plug. He thought it was on the arm, it's a drought, <laughs> hit the highway. Nah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, that was, yeah, yo, um, a lot of artists don't rap like that no more. You know what I'm saying? It's a message. All on show. this road, know where to go. All I can see is my hajj and my low. There was demons, they wanted my show. Pulling my body, I never would go. Ain't making no wishes to find no genies. Life is a bitch, but I make the whole eating. Focus on money, but still do you greasy. Running in my mouth, but they growing, they see me. Fuck you talking, know me outside. Great that he died. Shit me cry. Won't see me win, but I still got a gun. Oh, I still got a gun. 
So many nights I done ran through the city, stacking my pennies, they turn to bitches. Fuck what you talking, that shit don't offend me. Watch out for demons, they friendly. Oh, smile in your face, but they feed off your energy. Well, give them more energy. I move like it's 10 in me, eating my Wheaties. You do not start me because you do not feed me. Mama got hot, daddy got ghosts. Step on the staircase, they know where to go. When you fall off, they doing the most. Soon as you lick, they back on your dick. Mm. Bitches ain't shit. That's a fact. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, but um, I appreciate you, bro, for coming through. You like know what I'm saying? Appreciate you um, having me, man. Yeah, well, giving me this motivational speech. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely going to take this, everything that you told me and everything that you, um, all the information that you gave me. For sure. We definitely, like I said, like I give all the artists, you know what I'm saying? This is an opportunity. You know what I'm saying? That, um, this is your home now. You know what I'm saying? Anytime you want to come back, you know what I'm saying? As I grow, as you grow, you know what I'm saying? Right, you for sure. Come back and have another sure. conversation with me. You definitely welcome to Part come two back. soon. You know what I mean? And as you know, yeah, for sure. Know, you know what I'm saying? We still gonna work, bro. I appreciate That's a fact. you. Likewise, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate Folks. That.